I forget who ran it. Someone ran it earlier this tournament. Was it? Uh, we did. Did we run it this tournament? I don't remember. I think, I think you have. guys might have. I think it could have been yeah. us. And you don't even remember. It, I mean, I know. We, I think we ran an Ember game and we lost. Yeah, you played Ember versus us in the oh, first yeah, series. Oh yeah, there you go. That's right. That's right. And I think it was mid though. Huh? Okay. Yeah, it was mid against a Dragonite. We lost that game. Okay. Well, it our, our observer game. also suffering from amnesia here. It's been a long day. Let's get into it. We're going to see a Mango on Ice 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 and Vici Gaming. They go right towards the enemy woods. FY does go for the boots first here. And that Sankey Wisp are getting aggressive, but Secret are defending the jungle in numbers. That's not normally the point of attack that you see a team take into the Radiant Woods, but they wanted to get in there as, as quickly as possible. And they actually want to fight. They're going to go right towards S4. Oh, this is an awesome fight for them. Are they engaging or not? It seems a little undecided. Now the Cogs pulling the timber back. Ice 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 gets punished. Oh, what a beautiful Cog lift combination. And they're even going to deward the camp before the creep spawn. Yeah, they got denied pretty hard there. That was kind of risky from V. Like, they see them coming into the jungle. And they just try to force it anyway. Secret's actually probably the best team in the game at defending their own jungle. Like they're so good at knowing when to take fights and these early pre like pre uh, creep spawn engagements. They pick lingering heroes off all the time. Their positioning's always really good and they're super confident when they do this. And Ice Ice Ice, you can see they're like, do we go F Y down stump? I don't really go on the bristle back, but you know Ice 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 like screw it, I'm going in. And He's like, well, you guys <laughs> want to fight? I want to fight. Let's just fight at level one. And then yeah, Zai separated them and. He was just dead meat after that. Look at that. The the naked magic wisp with, the, with wisp the wisp. Mid, all right. This this is actually really difficult for Timber now because he's killed the what's it called the first skill? The whirling. Yeah. Blast. yeah. And like you usually really don't want to skill that on the off lane if you're against two heroes. You want to skill the other two skills. Um, That's okay. Here's a mango. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's, it's, that's but true. they're just sending him out there, and he's just going to be in the situation where he's not going to get much, to be honest with you. <sighs> if he gets anything, I'd be surprised, because is like... going to run up to him with boots. He has boots already after that first blood. Yeah. This is not like a, a Tidehunter bristle either, where you could just, oh, we'll just stack ancients or something. Uh -oh. He's actually dead, isn't he? He's in a lot of trouble uh, here. Uh, sure. I don't think he dies, but... Oh. He got zoned out really hard. Well, yeah. there goes half his regen. We might see him run after the Chen, um, eventually. If he's lucky though on that bottom lane, the lane will be pushing towards him for that dive, but I'm not sure what the creep equilibrium is like. Yeah, he has two archers, range so yeah. that's the downside of going for that gank like that. You can't control the lane so much, so it was a good move by Ice 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 to force that. So he's going to get some experience now instead of being totally level yeah. one for the whole game. Mm. Well, not the whole two, game, but like the first level two four is really minutes. crucial for him. Yeah. Yeah, so I also having a, a nice start here in the off lane. He's level two and change. Overall, looking at the CS, RTZ getting a lot of denies here early, but uh, they do end up running the safe lane Ember, so not going to throw them to the Wolves in the mid lane. Uh, ends up being a Bristle. Not the worst matchup. Uh, that's pretty bad for Ember. Yeah, I guess he might have to Wisp there if they send him yeah. in. But this is actually really cool. Thank you just leeching for level 3, and meanwhile Wisp stacking for him. So this is going to be, if it's uncontested, the Sanking is going to get very fast blink. I do see the double stack attempted. He's only going to get the one pulled out, it looks like. Oh, S4. He might be in trouble here. He's dead. Wow, how fighting though. Yeah, you can't underestimate Solo Lush's kill. damage. If you get, you know, that stun on you and there's a lightning up again, it's back up in no time. I mean, S4 thought he might have how with the, the five quill stacks, but they are going to wear off now. Magic stick level one. Yeah. He started with like five one charges from the fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah he sure. had a lot. <laughs> And he also had the Wisp. That's where you can get away with this very early Magic Wand a bit easier. I've actually been seeing a lot of Chinese teams against the Bristol mid just go level 1 Magic Wand. Yeah. I'm not sure if I agree with it, but I've seen it multiple times, only it's, from Chinese teams. So It's pretty cool because you get the, the new Magic Wand, the way it works. Yeah, it's you get definitely so much way better than the last one, yeah. for sure. Much more slot efficient as the game moves along. There's no recipe involved, so... Get more stats out of it for yeah. your money. I scouted out the stacks there with the rockets. I was just doing some scouting there. And if they're not careful, you know, the Bristol can go there with maybe with a couple chin creeps and they can contest that. Yeah. Yeah, and last game, they didn't actually even... I think he's going to go right now, though. I don't think they're going to have a... Yeah, he's going to go farming right now. And if, if he farms one of them, the other one is going to be farmed like so yeah, much especially faster. Especially after that death on S4, he's not feeling confident at all probably yeah. to go and get that. Maybe if he was level 5 right now and the Chen hit his level, has at least level 3 uh, for the two creeps, they uh, might be more confident. Is going to contest? It seems yeah, like they are. Like yeah. Puppy's going to. And crew. It's definitely a good move. 
if, even if they don't get the full stack or anything like that, they still have a sentry and can fuck with the sinking a lot. Well, fuck with him, they shall. Puppy moving towards top. Wants the bird in first. And yeah, they have the tornado here and the fade bolt. They, they have a good sentry as well here, I believe. But that stack's already gone, so they're gonna oh. try and go for and the second they, one. And FY's man just to get that sentry out of the picture. But how is just in the neighborhood, and that's a scary hero to fight into at this stage of the game. Yeah, they're actually sandwiched right now, and they have a haste. Oh, this could be really bad for them. Yeah. <laughs> Super gonna find one down in the river. It's Puppy. Tether coming through from a hasted wisp. There's probably no running here for Puppy. He tries to turn with Test of Faith, and Fenrir gets blocked up by the Cogs. Puppy, what a good turn there with Zai's support. Now super low. FY dealing with creeps up on the high ground. The quills start to stack up Super as the Phase Boots needs them to get away and will barely end up escaping. That was close. Oh, Zai, oh, got, him. Get him. got him. Wow, that's big. They're gonna die for it, I think, but it's worth it. Oh, that was double stun, and Vichy, they just respawn so quickly, they're right back into the fight. They don't steal the stack, though. Something the Sand King probably gonna look for right now. Yeah, like, Secret is a team that really likes contesting you over every little thing in the game. If it's Roche or Stacks, anything early game, they will contest you over it. They give you nothing for free. But that time, Vichy Gaming, they were aware of it, and they shut them down hard. So, that was very good for Vichy Gaming. Yeah, the timing was a little bit off. Like, uh, Sankin just finished the stack and got the smoke at the right same time, so... Yeah, it still turns out okay for them, but it, yeah. it felt like it could have been a lot better if they caught him. And Uh-oh. FY, we've seen this before in previous patches. Or yeah, he's almost out of his blink, huh? 1,500 yeah. After the stack, he's gonna, he's gonna be just be, about there. Yeah, he's only 7 us also. And then it gets hard to push into this lineup. Very hard. The only thing I do it on check on is the Timbersaw status. I believe he'll be having a very difficult time down here. He's level two still. So that's the hard spot for VG Gaming here. But now that they're rotating to go for that stack, he can get a little bit of experience now. How is currently dueling it out with the Dark Troll Summoner. Just getting harassed. Yeah, get off me. No mercy. They're trying to find FY. He's got 1900 gold. Yeah, he is close. Yeah, Secret is having none of this jungle farming for FY, huh? Well, they do find how in the end that Dark Troll Summoner's there. He's gonna go for the TP out. Test of Fate. Doesn't try for it. Only level one. Now mid lane. This is big. FY gonna be denied. That's gonna slow down the blink by at least a minute or two. Yeah, that's really annoying. And then when he respawns, he probably wants to buy a TP. Like, it's gonna set him back a lot. I mean... Should Vici be trying to secure his blink a little more, or just? I mean, his timing is still really good. It's six yeah. and a half minutes yeah. in the game. He's got 1,700 gold, so like, his, once he gets a blink, it'll be great. But at this stage, he's still gonna have a really good timing on the blink, unless he dies again. Mm -hmm. They do have a ward is somewhat in the neighborhood, but getting in there is not the easiest thing in the world. They do have hook shot. That's the main way they could try and gank him out. Yeah, so the fact that they're putting so much pressure on FY and stopping this blink, I think it's kind of good for Vici. They're okay with it because they're probably still going to get this blink timing at a relatively good rate. But more importantly, Timbersaw is finding levels now. Whereas before, if the supports are down there, he'd still be like level 2. Yeah, I wonder like what, how much did it hurt Secret to go for that? Like Rubik actually got his level 5 right there. Chen is like probably close to 5 also. So, I mean, it's, I think it's a fairly even trade. Probably Timbersaw wouldn't have gotten anything. But at the same time, Sankey would have free farm, so it's like both teams are. It's pretty even trade off. Oh, oh how? There's Zai with the hook shot doing some aggressive play here from the offlane. Comes in, how can't even cast the spell. Easy yeah. takedown. I mean, I think he's level 6 right now. I mean, I played this matchup quite a few times. Dyer's like, when you're playing against a Clockwork, attack. the only spell you can cast if you cog is your ultimate. So, I think it's really important you skill that against that hero in particular, because at least you can cast something if you're in the cogs and do some damage. Yeah. So you can't cast anything. Else. Waving your arms around yeah. in the air pathetically. It's like a flopping fish, basically. <laughs> yeah, actually pretty surprising they got the uh, clock on last attack. pick uh, on Radiant. I feel like that's... Good against quite a few of their heroes, it feels yeah. like. The Sand King, the, the Lashrak especially, even the Timber can be a nuisance for him with the Battery Assault. I mean, Seeker's just so good at so many heroes, you know, it's yeah, like it's hard, hard to, to just ban. ban them all out, you know? Yeah. They, yeah. they had just other priorities. Top tower and they are really starting to 
turn the heat up as they push in the mid lane looking for this tier one tower and Fiji spamming them. Another, oh, that last lightning proc doesn't hit. Dark Troll last hit, super TP's in. They don't have the best control to deal with him. He may make a move forward, stunning the Chen Creeps, going up the catapult. Tower does go the way of the Radiant. There's your send back. So Secret do get the tower and force out a TP, make it out safely in the end. They got a hook shot now, but well, good thing they got that tower while they could. Because guess who's got a blink and epicenter level seven already? It's FY. Yeah, that's going to be big. And I think Timbersaw's going to reach his level six momentarily as well. Well, he, he does have it now. So and Arcane Boots. So he has his toolkit as well. So they are. There's going to be a lot of fighting, I think. Yeah, I think the they're also going to smoke to the Timbersaw here, most likely. Yeah, there's no relocate Dyer's anytime soon. As that wisp, attack. the wisp was the one that really suffered along with the timber saw. They want the racer kill. That's gonna be, if they get it, it's really big. Killing that hero pre like 15 minutes is always just a tad bigger than killing other heroes. I'd say. Chen, no hand of God just yet. Yeah, they'll they'll get it Dyer's if they get a stun on him for sure. Yeah. All they need is a blink stun. Oh, there it is, blink stun. Abby, no messing around here from BG and Archeezy. Will go down. They try to counter initiate those signs. Leaping forward with the hook shot. Good pushback, but Super does have a single remnant available. Should be able to make his way out of this. And while that was happening, Radiant got a tier one top, it looks like. Not too shabby. And, uh, yeah, the Bristol is up there just hitting it, I think, maybe with some Chen creeps as well. Radiant's middle he's, get, he's getting pretty big, S4. Yeah, significantly ahead of everyone here on Vici. They definitely had a head start by how much pressure they applied in the early game. He cliffed them, but it's an Ember Spear, so... Well, make him waste a charge, yeah. I guess. That's annoying, if nothing else. So guys, the game kind of settles down a little bit here. Sand King's got the blink, so if you're secret, you're a little hesitant to push. Timber's also spamming a lot. Don't see a Wisp level 6 yet. Wisp is, like, by far the, the most far behind here on the game. On the side of Secret, they haven't snowballed the way they did last game. We're not seeing a level 8 Chen when the other cores hit 8. What are we expecting? Oh, so hold that thought. How? Gonna get caught out. Oh, looks like he may go down mid. Oh, guess might just walk out. Stun. That's stun. Okay. Oh, what a Man, play. So. Guess not. Do you, do you, oh, oh shot. All right. All right. Things get interesting now. No spells to cast, really, though. Just goes down without casting doing anything. For the turnaround, though, they are going to burrow on the Zai. They'll get him through with the timber chain through him. No oh, secret. They get a little Shrek. They trade their clock. Crucially, Crush, yeah, Dyer's Wisp is getting some time top lane. Attack. Space for the, the much needed support level. Yeah, I mean, playing less track against uh, Clockwork is rather difficult before you get your BKB. After that, it doesn't matter so much. But I don't even know. Maybe you even go full stuff. stuff here. Yeah. Since you went threats, you're and then one. You're okay, you can, tanky. but it kind of kills your carry potential a lot as that hero because then you turn into like four stuff doesn't give you any mana reach and yeah, and it's it's kind of expensive. I think a better item for it would be Yules. Because even if he does get hooked, he can turn his ult on, Yules himself, so it'll buy him some time at least. And it'll allow him to set up for, you know, stun ganks as well, just be more useful around the map. Yeah, eventually they're also gonna, if they're ready for it, they can probably burst the clock or kill the clocks. And also they have, will have relocates. Yeah. I think Yules is a good item, that's a... Particularly good item against Clockwork. Radiant's it's annoying though, but either way. See one in the river. Chains are there. S4 gets a haste through. Can they burst him in time? He's going to retreat to the north side. Hooks there. Turns it around. S4 may come back in. Venrir quickly caught out and dealt with despite having a level 6. Dead for quite some time. Now they find the Sand King Curl on the cliff together with him. And now the chase forward. Now getting caught out. Stun's going to miss. S4 on a rampage. He'll smack oh, on the fourth. Whoa. They thought they had him, but they just didn't have to burst. Can't deal with S4 rune. <laughs> uh, At least geez. once a game, he will retrieve that rune and get multiple kills. Sometimes multiple times per game. <laughs> if you're really unlucky. Yeah. But one's a given. I see Secret calmly enjoying their latest victory. Secret, to me, just feels like they're just straight out playing VG this game. Like, in every Dyer's aspect of the game, they're just getting outplayed. It was pretty even up Dyer's until that point. Like, the, there was no attack. huge advantage, but Secret just coming out on top to fight after fight. Yeah, their team fight execution, their decision making has just been better. Yeah, I feel like they didn't get anything out of the Wisp so far in the entire game. And it's actually their first pick. They are going to find an opening here for me a little bit. In comes the Timber, quickly bursting him down. 
That is going to slow down Secret as a leap forward comes. Ember also joining us. Catch the chains on Arteezy. That's a big one. There's no chance to send it back. And then FY with the two hero burrow. But Kuro's stolen the burrow. Can he use it to get anything done here? They will find the Lushrak on the backside. The stolen burrow going to work. They're really laying into super. There's the lift. Perfect chain stun from Secret who comes right back. And I don't think there's a hook ready for some time here. They may still catch Ice 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 though. Burrow, Kuro almost there. Relocate out. They forced it. But that may be where it ends. Now the sensor stop on FY. That canceled Epi, by the way. Uh-oh. So Epi is going to be down now as well. This I is... mean, this clockwork is just making the house life miserable. Like, he's just finding the yeah. horse every time and just hooking on him. The and horse. he just can't do anything. <laughs> or a pony in whatever way. <laughs> I mean, it's it's Poor more horse. of a pony than a horse the way this game's going. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. If that. This is like one of those, uh, you know, merry-go-round horses and can't even move off of its pathetic track. And it's getting to that point where Zai is getting close to Blade Mill, and when he finishes that, and if he goes on how, It's such a good item, this game. Yeah, it's a really good item, especially good against Slashback, and it's good against all the heroes, actually. Even, the, like, the Timber. The Ember's okay with the yeah. Sleight of Fist, but Sankate's going to suffer to that as well. Here comes the smoke. Yeesh. Secret looking to really take this to the next level. Yeah, here we go again. They're going to go for the hook into the lift, maybe. Oh, Burrow off the mark. Just Burrow into the lift. So they have to follow up. They're going to try to go to work on Howl here, but FY is looking to turn it back off on S4. That is not the hero that you're looking for. Oh, now the hook again. God. It's on two from Zai. Finds the bull trapped in the cogs. Massacred. Zai is really just bringing his A game the past week. First at Red Bull Battlegrounds, now here Radiant's again at the Summit. Man, making a lot of plays for the team. Yeah, Zai is destroying them right now. Like, these plays on this uh, Clockwork are insane. They're just like, if you let Lashrak just sit back there and cast a lot of spells, these fights would be a lot different, but he's not able to cast anything in these spells at all because of Zai. Yeah, that was really important. He was so patient there. He, like, he really felt like the Prism like, moved into his path and stuff, but he didn't, like, go on a wisp or anything like that. He just followed and waited for the right opportunity. It was a really good play. And off of that, instantly into the road. Secret taking big objectives to get the Arteezy Aegis. He's been kind of quiet this game, but hasn't He's really been had around to do in much. the fights. The yeah. Plasma Field has been doing a ton of damage, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. But at some point, he's going to get that BKB rags, and Avicii are struggling to deal with Secret without the Razor having a, a huge role. That's, that's where things are really scary for them. It's interesting to see. He went phase boots on Razor. He usually goes treads on that hero, so I wonder what the decision making was behind that. Yeah, there's nothing like there's no like summons that you really need to phase through per se. It does give you a little yeah. chasing power. Maybe he just figures a lot of the heroes can like burrow or timber away that he can yeah. still catch up to them. Yeah. That's true. Radiance top tower has also been helps denied. you zone the timber a little har harder in early early game, I guess as well. There's a smoke coming out now for VG. Yeah, they just need you know a couple team fights uh, and get this Leshrac some core items. And then they'll be like, he's going to go for the four staff. Like, he's had enough of this game. So <laughs> he he's to, like, <laughs> he wants to buy items before he dies yeah. again. Uh oh, they might find the Curry Arteezy. He needs one more. Oh, he gets it. Killed. Only takes two. That's the point booster for Ice Ice Ice. And they saw it moving towards bottom. So well, I guess it was always Ice Ice. Ice so. But they don't care about bottom. They, they want mid. They, they probably have. understand that VG is all bottom. So they just go high. It seems like they're they're gonna punish Vici for trying for the smoke straight down mid, all the way. Yeah, I think no matter what, they were just gonna force them back on the base. Like whenever they get Aegis, it's go time. They got a frontline hero. They love this crystal back hook. Where'd that go? Hook. Uh, oh, almost finding him. Dead to earn, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. Dead to earn. And now the dive on the mid lane. In the meanwhile, Rays are going really hard in the paint here. Secret. Vici Gaming, normally the team that's just blasting teams out of the out of each match in under 30 minutes, but Secret, one game and maybe two games in a row, taking the fight to them. They may have to do this from the lower bracket. S4 getting caught by a stun, but there's no epicenter yet. FY very low. Fourth back tower gonna fall. They still hold the Aegis here, I believe. And yeah, Secret gonna continue the fight. Super driven back a bit. Uh, they haven't actually killed off a melee or Rage Rex yet. Slowly working out with S4 in front. There's good spam here on Vici and the threat of that epi might cause Secret to back off and heal up. Yeah, it's going to be hard for them. I think they need to wait for Hookshot again, and it's up now, but 
They need to kill the last track because it's really hard to push against that EO. Paired together well with the Timber Slow, it's just so much spam. If you just go up there, every four seconds there's going to be a lightning storm spammed on you. Then Chakram's going to be spammed too. It's pretty difficult to deal with. So uh, if they get a pick beforehand, it'll be pretty easy. I mean, for me, I'm just like, like what are Vici going to do when Seeker get BKBs? Ember has no damage items. And they're all magic damage. Like, they... I feel they really can't stop that. Yeah, last track at this point is just all he can do is spam his lightning. Meanwhile, Zai just finding kills all he over the so place. He is so farmed. He has a four staff now too. So that four staff that Lesh just picked up, it's Zai has one too. Basically, yeah. You force out, I force out to you. Oh, that was good play by Puppy there. He sent Zai back before he died. They do lose one in the Chen, but still a pretty big investment by Beachy to get a support. And Seeker gonna get one, maybe two towers on the back of that. Got a DD rune here in S4. I mean, he's, he's S4, right? He's, he's always going to have some ridiculous rune. I mean, he always checks the rune, so to some degree, it's not luck. But it's not all luck, but it's just it's it's more just a, a storyline at this point, if not the reality. They do get the lift off here. He's going to drop quickly to this physical damage, but not enough to bring him down. Just slide this Rubik, huh? Not the spell he's looking for. I don't know if I've seen the animation for it. I don't know if I have either. I'm sure I have. It's just Dyer's probably underwhelming. Yeah, it's forgettable. <laughs> it just disappears. <laughs> <and then you're laughs> back. I was hoping to see like the wand like waving around over people, but probably not. Some Harry Potter shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible, maybe. I'm sure he'll cast it once before he steals a new spell. Maybe not. It's not even worth casting, honestly. He's em he's embarrassed that he stole it. He's like, I'm 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 karaoke. I'm not casting this. I'm shirt. above this. Wow. <laughs> well, he is the K god after all. Secret. What at this that? at Ta this oh, tower damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At this point, do you guys think that they can just death ball for high ground? Are they looking for a certain pickoff first to just farm it up a bit more? Like, if you're in secret shoes, where do you go from here? I mean, I think they still want to use the Aegis. So I expect them to use Aegis. I mean, they have BKB up on the Bristleback. Uh, what does the Razor have? Does he have his BKB? Yeah, another hook from Zai off yeah. of the Dire Jungle. Man, he just keeps on punishing Michi. Oh my goodness. Solo kill after solo kill. Then two hero hooks into... Double kills for S4. It's, he's making this game very easy for his teammates. Sly is playing out of his mind this game, that's for sure. Well, with a win here, they have the comfortable position of watching watching EG face off against yeah. Vici tomorrow. They're wow. going to... Yeah, they're going to force a mind back. Even then, they probably don't defend this. Uh, that's going to be Chen, you and Mac, and BKB and Bristol. We got a smoke sand king here, so maybe... He's only 10 again, though. I don't think he got 11 yet. I mean, if he pulls this off, he truly is that white guy. He's gonna try for it, and not quite. That'd be pretty much a swing and a miss. As far as the BKB taking literally no damage. Nice, nice, nice down again, and BG Gaming gonna lose a lane of ranks, maybe more. With no real way to defend it, they get up the burrow, but Mech comes out. S4, he just doesn't care. He's face tanking it as Kuro steals another spell. That is a very good spell for Rubik. And that is without the Aegis. Yeah, you've got the lift into the, the no cast point splitter. Yeah, I mean, the b thing that makes that spell like balanced on Lestra is it takes so long to cast. But when Rubik is on, how? Again, he's just toying with him at this point. Hook on two, and he manages to stun Super on the way through. Now, Super, maybe gonna drop here. Tries to run it back with the four step forward, almost catching him. Gets up the chains, relocate, gonna end soon. But, then what? Then not a whole lot for Pichi Gaming. This is just clinical by Secret. They even bought back on Lashrak, but uh, I'm not going to get anything out of that, it looks like. This is also the, kind of the second reason why giving secrets uh, Chen is so scary. It's like, they're so confident going high ground with that hero. They know they have Puppy playing it, they have the send back always ready, the heal. You have margin for error, and even if they catch a couple of heroes. Yeah, they're just so good at getting objectives, objectives with that hero, too. Like, yeah. tier one, they just take all the tier one towers super early, force Roshan with five heroes. They don't even care. Like, if you try and contest it, they'll still do it. Then they'll just go high ground with it, too. They've done it so many times in the past, and, you know, the bounty hunter they used to great effect, and they beat them with it, but without the bounty hunter, they're struggling. It's two games in a row. Oh, another hook by his side. He finds his side, side, side. Timber chain out the pearls. They're only on one. Only tackles Artizi, who ignores him, keeps on rushing forward. They don't get a second kill just yet, but even if they don't get the second, it may no matter. They lift and they steal the sandstorm. Godlike clockwork. Jesus. Don't see that very often. Radiance top.
Certainly not at 23 minutes. I mean, you normally you see, see it never because that hero just normally hooks in, dies the to idea, the team. The idea of the hero is to go in and die so your team can get kills. But that's they're so far ahead, he just doesn't die. So he's just so confident. It's just, I mean, Zyke really weak. He clearly missed the memo on how this game is supposed to happen. Ay, ay, ay. That's when you know you're having a good clock game. Well, it seems the bounty hunter man might be the key here for Seeker when they face Vichy. Yeah, I mean, Vichy, they wanted to try to beat their Chin. I think everyone knows Seeker's Chin is probably one of their best heroes. But they thought they had an answer to it. And if you can beat it, then you feel really confident yeah. against them. But And they beat it, and they felt confident, but they were missing the one key ingredient, which was happened to be the bounty hunter, it seems. Maybe it's time to start picking that Riki. Ricky? I'm not quite the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Clinks. Clinks level 1 roaming jungle. <laughs> hey, you Very guys run Clinks. Have you tried it? At level 1? No, of course not. I usually like to have my ult first so you're useful. I mean, someday you'll learn these next level strats. One day. Super getting caught out. Pushed out of the cogs. But does escape meanwhile. I mean, they're just... Vichy gave me as many most of this game running for their lives here. They're not even tickling secret. Yeah, they're just so far behind, but... And he's, he's going for the soldiers, too. Forget about any sort of angle except the middle of the set. It's last part of the game for them, for sure. Playing male Cogs, how? I mean, it started with him getting trapped in Cogs. It might end that way. Zai with the rocket forward. Now the chase back on the Super 4. Heroes finish him off. And me. It's a decent one for Matt Boy. It does get the chin, but that's all it gets. Three and buyback instantly. GG as he buys back. And Secret are going for the Grand Finals. They are. GG. And we'll be meeting Fichi tomorrow, it seems. Which we haven't played yet this tournament, so it should be fun. Well, it's some players that you faced uh, quite a few times in your net. You took them on in, in DAC. I guess that's the last time you guys played? Yeah, that was the last time we played them, so it's been quite a while. New patch. Everyone.